Welcome back to our conversation with Senate President Karen Spilken. Madam President, there's few stories more heartbreaking to us in the newsroom and I'm sure to the viewers than the stories we regretfully continue to have to cover of some life snuffed out by distracted driving. People are on their phone. I see it every day when I'm on the roads. All my colleagues complain about it. I think it's really a top of mind issue for a lot of people. What are we going to do to curb the irresponsible behavior of too many drivers to not put the phone down? Well, there's been a distracted driving bill pending for years up on Beacon right. Hill. Right. Um, supposedly it's been held up by differences over uh, the Senate's insistence on requiring police to collect and report data from traffic stops. Why is that necessary? Uh, I can't comment, but I, I can just say that a lot of the supposeds are not true here. Okay. Um, well, what is holding well, up? Well, um, I do want to start out by saying, that, and I want to emphasize, Texting while driving is illegal now. Right. We passed a bill a long time ago uh, that pr uh, prohibits texting while driving. I realize people are still doing it, and my heart goes out to the families that have been impacted so horribly by, by this issue. I've met with them, and, and I, uh, my heart breaks for them, and I realize it. And that's why the Senate has passed this bill three separate times over the last six years. And every time, and because it is such an important issue, we need it, and every time we've done it, we We've passed it. We've had both the the distracted driving component piece to it, and the data collection to prevent racial profiling and, and deal with implicit bias. Uh, both of those pieces are public safety pieces and are intertwined. They go together. We believe that they they were so intertwined. The three times we included it, the House did it this this session this year for the first time. But they also had the prevent you know no more distracted driving and the data collection so we are working on a bill still that will include both of them clearly that was the intent of both the house and the senate and we believe that they should include both uh, this is going to provide much more opportunity for stops we want to ensure the police do a terrific job across massachusetts but we need to ensure that the data is collected that we can uh, monitor this as well was that part of the anti texting bill yes yeah th that that is the the two pieces and that, what what has nine years of data shown about oh it, bias it, it, and it stops it stopped um, it was only it was sunsetted a while ago and that's why it's not happening anymore uh, it's it showed uh, that there were concerns that that we needed to be addressed and we should keep collecting the data which one we other, have not been doing. One other quick thing I want to fit in before our time expires here. The, uh, the vaping ban was mm. an executive action by the Governor Baker and his administration. You support that, right? The four-month pause? or I do. I, I am concerned about the businesses that are yeah. impacted, but people are dying and people are getting sick. We've had, from what I've been told, over 60 residents of Massachusetts that have been uh, come down with major respiratory illnesses through vaping and they don't know exactly what it is so right. I definitely support banning the flavor Senator Keenan has a great bill he's been a champion on this issue in the State House he's been working with Senator Joe Comerford chair of public health uh, we were prepared to do that I'd like to wait to get some more information to find out uh, we included a, a tax on vaping in our budget that did not survive conference but we will take action pending uh, the outcome of this information. Just very briefly, uh, I'm sure there's not a lot of people who fall into this category, but I do know of people with chronic pain who get relief from THC and find that vaping is the only way they can ingest it. And all of a sudden, boom, mm -hmm. they can't get that relief. Could there be some exception or should there have been some exception carved out for, for people like this? Uh, we will certainly I will raise that this is the first I'm hearing about it but I will raise that with the governor to see okay okay Senate thank President you. Spilka appreciate it thank you it's come back again soon I look forward to it the welcome Thanks. mat is out thank, thank you, you.